and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today we will be talking about hiding data inside of an image this image right here it is a normal image there's nothing special about it same with the backup image they're both the same size and there's nothing stored inside of them so let me show you how to store some data into these images but there are a few requirements you need linux and then you also need stick hide, which is sudo apt git install stick hide. Do that, and if you don't have it installed, it's going to install it. And if you do have it installed, then it's just going to go through it. Stick hide, if you want to know more about it, you can go into the man page. And as you can see, you can just store a bunch of data into a bunch of different files and stuff. And you, these are the commands you'll be using the most extract and embed, of course. And then here you have EFC, if you'll, you'll be using a bunch of these flags. I'm not going to go through all of them, I'm just going to show you the very bare basics. So let's get started. So let's say we have a file that we want to create, that we want to embed into an image. So nobody knows that file is in that image. So one thing we can do is we can say echo, and I'm just going to create a file that says, hello, my name is Netsu. And I'm going to put that inside of private.txt. And now if we were to see what's inside of private.txt. As you can see, hello, my name is Netsu. And if we were to cat private.txt, it's going to say hello, my name is Netsu. So first thing we want to do is when I say stig hide. And then we want to specify what we want to do. What do you want to embed? Do you want to extract? So I'm going to say embed because we want to embed it. Then we can say how what we want to um, embed into a file. So dash ef, which means embed file. This should be hidden inside of something. So we're going to say private.txt. And then cf, this is the cover file because you need an image to cover up what you're trying to hide. So then we can say girl.jpg, the image right here, girl.jpg. And then we want to specify a password because if you want to be extra secure, you need a password in order to keep others from just extracting your data that you put in here. I'm just going to say password because I don't need a strong password. Now if we do that, it's going to say embedding embedding private.txt inside of girl.jpg. So now this file right here, as you can see, is a little bit bigger than its original backup file. This file right here contains data. It contains text. Text, but we can't see it. It modified this image just in such a little way, you can't really see any changes. So if we were to open up the backup file and we were to show these two next to each other, you won't really see a difference because they're is no difference to show so anyways now what if we wanted to extract the data we have in this file right now well one way we can go about it is yet again using stig stig hide so we want to extract so we have embed and extract and then we want to go sf so this is sf so this is stig file this is the file that has been stigged up in a way, and this is girl .j, uh, girl .jpg. So that the image right here, that's the one that has been written into. And then we want to specify where we want to extract it to. So dash xf. If you just keep it like that, it's going to. If this file already exists, it's going to overwrite it. If it doesn't exist, then it's going to create a new file. If I'm correct. But I'm going to specify a new file, so we still have our private.txt. And then I'm going to say a new private dot txt. Let, let me show you what's going to happen if you don't say the password. You're just going to do that. It's going to say insert password. So you're going to have to insert it anyways, but you can use dash p to enter it before you have to. So da, dash p and then let's go password because that's the password. Press enter, then wrote extracted data to new private.txt. So if we go here into new private.txt, we will see the data that has been extracted. So hello, my name is Netsu. And it's private, both the same. So yeah, that is how you embed data into an image as well as extract that data from the image. Thank you all for watching.
I hope you all enjoyed and see you all again in the next video.